Greetings. I'm here to talk to you about parallel circuits and how parallel circuits behave. So, parallel circuits are circuits with branches. So these are not complete loops. So the current may take different paths and the electrons here representing current. Okay, so in terms of the rules, here we have got a battery that, let's say, has 9 volts that will supply energy to these electrons. It doesn't matter which branch these electrons go down, the total voltage across each branch will be 9 volts. Okay, so electron carries 9 volts worth of energy, 9 volts worth of energy go down that branch, it goes down that branch as well. So it's the same across each branch. Okay, however, something to take into account is these electrons are travelling around a circuit in a certain amount of time. The amount of electrons that go down here and the amount of electrons that go down here means that the current has to split. So, let's say that we have got 1.2 amps worth of current flowing around a circuit. Okay, then we may have 0.8 amps going up there. We may have 0.4 amps go in there. It does not have to split evenly. Okay, so here and here you've got a different amount of current and when they recombine at this point here then you've got 1.2 amps again in that segment up there. So your rules are voltage is the same across each branch and the current splits. Okay, something that else happens is if you put two resistors in parallel, let's show you here and here for example, so let's say we've got 4 ohms and we've got 6 ohms. Now your resistance in parallel, you don't add them up. What happens is in this case it would be lower than the smallest resistance. And at A level you can have a look at Kirchhoff's law and have a look at the equation related to that. You do not need to know it for your GCSEs. Okay, so if you place them in parallel, then your resistance will be less than four in that instance. Okay, so other things that you may be asked to do, you may be asked to apply the equation resistance equals voltage divided by current. Okay, here we know the resistance is higher. And the reason we know the resistance is higher is because we've got a lower current. Okay, and that's parallel circuits. Cheers.